الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. One person told another, "You are a righteous man. You're a good man." You know what was the answer? I am not a righteous man, but Alhamdulillah, I am mastur, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not uncover my mistakes, did not uncover my sins, did not show people my wrongdoings that I do and people don't know. You know, I've been thinking, can you imagine, can you imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells people what you do, meaning He shows them, you close the door, you do haram, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings it out and shows it to people. You say something, does the same thing. You think evil or you plan evil, he shows it. You cheat in the test, he shows it. You take a haram look, he shows it. Can you imagine how many of those we do? And can you imagine if that happens, what will happen? Ibn al-Jawzi, rahimahullah, one great scholar, he said, لو أن الله سبحانه وتعالى نشر ما ستر لما نظر أحد إلى أحد ولما استمع أحد إلى أحد. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expose what he covered from your sins, no one will talk with another, with another and no one would listen to one another. Because usually if they know how bad you are and how many horrible things you do, they're not going to listen to your advice and then they're going to say start with yourself. One mistake or one problem or one sin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala publicize about a person ruins his life and ruins his relationships, and ruins his career. Can you imagine if he shows it all? So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to show you how beautiful, number one, how beautiful the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, As-Sittir, As-Sittir, Mish Satir, ولا ستار الستير الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله حيي ستير the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى is ستير you know what ستير means he is the one who covers the mistakes so much so many times you sin and he keeps it hidden from people. You will see it the day of judgment though. He will remind you of it. He will show it to you. Ahsahullah wa nasuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take records and we forget. Amazing. We always thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'am that we see. Alhamdulillah for my health, alhamdulillah for my children, alhamdulillah for my wife, alhamdulillah for my money, alhamdulillah for my job, alhamdulillah for my test, alhamdulillah for my grade, alhamdulillah. But we never say alhamdulillah for the sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered. How many of you, be honest, how many of you thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something haram you did and he did not tell your parents. 
and he did not show it to your parents. And how many people make things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covers? Look at the ni'mah. You need to always say Alhamdulillah for the hidden blessings. The hidden blessings is not covering your sins. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَسْبَغَ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعَمَهُ ظَاهِرَةً وَبَاطِنًا He covered you with blessings. Open blessings that you can see and hidden blessings that you cannot see. And those hidden or one of those hidden blessings is he does not show your sin. The worst thing that you can do in sinning is to show people your sin, to publicize your sin, to put a post, for instance, without hijab, or to put a post doing haram. And worse than that is for someone to come and comment on it positively, like saying you look good, or mashallah, or just like it because this is more evil we are supposed to stop evil and hate evil not comment on evil or publicize evil or support evil you know what that does it leads you to be cursed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because not enjoining good and forbidding evil led to curse in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that so make sure you don't post anything haram you don't say anything haram when you are exposed you'll be humiliated and the day of judgment will be worse no posting no comment on haram posting and no supporting that rather you say something about it and you try to stop it and don't ever don't ever thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only for the things you see, thank him for the things you don't see, and always say Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered my mistakes and my shortcomings and did not publicize it. This is a great ni'mah. One of the righteous predecessors said, I don't know to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more for the blessings that I see or for the blessings that he had covered from my shortcomings. So remember that. Yeah. Always remember this blessing. Keep it in your mind and say Alhamdulillah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Have a wonderful day at ISI Islamic School of Irving. And be good always and be grateful. Assalamu alaikum.